This video is about inequalities and in interval notation and, uh, I don't know, maybe other stuff, so I put and such. And uh, what I'm talking about here is, uh, you know, you have a number line, and then on the number line, maybe you have a solid dot here. Um, and then in one direction, it'll be shaded. So in this case, I'm shading to the right of 6, so numbers that are bigger than 6 would be included. And uh, what I want to do is I want to write this solution set, write all the numbers that satisfy that number line in the way it's shaded in. Um, so you first have to definitely make sure that you recognize that that's a closed circle. And the first way is um, I'm just going to use the inequalities that you're used to. So uh, x uh, can definitely be greater than 6, uh, but it can also be equal to. So we fill that in. So we have the greater than or equal to sign. And uh, then I'm just going to put the number 6. All right, so you should be familiar with that, I hope. Uh, the second method is going to use interval notation. So we start off with x. So uh, I'm telling you that x is the variable that's represented by the number line. And now I'm going to use a symbol that you may or may not recognize. So uh, that's like a, I think that's a little Greek uh, lowercase e. Um, but it means is an element of. So everything I'm about to uh, write here, x could be one of the numbers that I write. So uh, 6 is allowed to be included. So what I'm going to use is this bracket. Um, so not a parenthesis a little, uh, you know, open parenthesis or closed parenthesis, but a bracket in this case. And that means that you include the number that you're about to write. So I'm going to include 6. Uh, and then I can do anything bigger than 6. So I need to have something that I can put at the end here. So what I actually put is the infinity sign. Um, so I can include 6, so that's why I've used bracket, and then comma infinity. Now infinity is, uh, it's not really a number, it's more of a concept or a journey, if you will. So I can't actually get there, so there's no way to include infinity. So I'm going to close it with a parenthesis. So I'm not closing with a bracket because I'm not actually including infinity. So it's not included. So that's what's going to happen. Anytime it's not included, we use parentheses. Anytime it's included, we use brackets. And uh, infinity is never going to be included. So if you find yourself writing infinity or negative infinity, you've got to put a parenthesis by it. Okay, so let's do another one. So I have a number line here with negative 4 and 7. I have an open circle at negative 4 and a uh, closed circle there at 7. So we got open, we got closed. All right, number 1, I'm going to use the uh, inequality. So negative 4 is a boundary. It can't be negative 4, so, but it can be bigger than it. So negative 4, that's a less than sign, so negative 4 is less than. And it can't be equal to, so no equal to part. Put my variable, which is x. Um, and then for 7, I have to be uh, less than 7, or it could be equal to 7. So less than or equal to in that case. And that's it using inequalities. Um, so here, x is an element of. Um, negative 4 is not included, so parenthesis. And then negative 4, comma 7. 7 is included, so I'm going to use a bracket. And that's really about it. You just have to keep in mind, uh, included means a bracket, not included means parenthesis. Um, included on a graph or a number line looks like a closed circle, and not included looks like an open circle. So uh, that's not arbitrary. You do have to pay attention to that. Uh, so let's take a look at this. So if I'm given negative 5 is less than or equal to x is less than 4, and I want to write it using the other notation, it would be x is an element of, so I'm using a bracket, before negative 5 because it's included, using a parenthesis after 4 because 4 is not included. And then I can make a number line for this. Uh, bracket is going to tell you that it's a closed circle, and then uh, parenthesis tells you it's an open circle. So that's what it would look like. And uh, let's look at another one here. So say we start with this notation. This notation is it, it's more common as you kind of move up through the levels of math, and that's why you got to learn it. Um, so it's between 10 and 30, and neither 10 nor 30 are included. So when I write it as an inequality, there's not going to be any equalities. It's just less than signs. And then when I put it on a number line, it's going to be all open circles. And then we fill it in between. Uh, and that's it. So I just wanted to uh, make this video to kind of show you what's going on in case you're a little confused. And I hope you found this helpful. Good luck.